Hey everyone, my name is Charlie and today I want to discuss the worth that I put into literature. This topic came to me whilst I was reading the Joe Nesbo Harry Hall books. So I've read six of the books now. I haven't paid the full retail price for any one of these books. And I plan to donate them all to the charity shop once I finish them. It comes from this place of when I read a thriller or something from this genre, I tend to just give the book away immediately. So I have never paid the full amount on, you know, I've never purchased a thriller from a bookshop. I've either got them from the library or I've purchased them from a charity shop. And you know, you're talking less than two pounds often for a paperback really. And also the author isn't receiving any money for the book unless I take it out of a library. And the topic came to me because I've been enjoying the thrillers that I've read. Oftentimes I will enjoy a thriller and then like I say it's a one and done book, I bring it to the shop, that's it. I don't think about it again. I enjoyed my time with the book, but I don't need to revisit it. However, I've realised that this might be something of the issue, not because I'm supporting a charity still, but because the author isn't really receiving any monetary reward for my having read their work. And I understand it's not piracy. It's none of these things. And last year, Olivia Pope did a video regarding charity shops, and I responded to that and um about buying books from charity shops and i don't think that that my that is my problem my problem is the worth that i place on this literature that says to me i'm not i'm not going to pay a certain amount of money over five pounds usually for a book that i'm not going to read more than once i can't say whether it's anything to do with my financial situation as i've talked about here often i come from quite the poor family i don't have the background to be going out there and purchasing books at full whack i have often you know it's always been there that i've purchased books from charity shops that's nothing new but it's this thing inside of me at the moment where i'm just questioning whether i ought to actually place more worth on the literature that i'm reading because i am getting enjoyment out of the books but I do, for whatever reason in my head, see them as less than a piece of popular fiction or, you know, one of these big books. And I don't know whether that's because of the way writing is presented to us, that genre fiction isn't the best. I don't know whether I've come to this decision myself knowing that I'm not the biggest fan of thrillers, really. So... When I read them, I read them, but it's not something that's going to stick. They're incredibly fast-paced reads, and then they're out of the way. I think I'm just here to kind of see whether anyone has any answers to the questions that I've got. Whether you think that it's important to place more worth on the books and to emphasise that whilst I might not be able to afford to purchase them from a proper bookshop and pay the full retail price for them, I could go and try and endeavour to get those books if I should wish to read them from the library in order that some monetary reward is going to the writer. And also, I feel as though I, sh as a writer myself, I shouldn't be here declaring what fiction I feel is worth more than another fiction simply because it's genre fiction. Because I only seem to do it with thrillers. Fantasy fiction, genre fiction. I've kept my favourite fantasy books. But there is... I never save any thrillers. I could... And I have done previously when I gave star ratings, given thrillers five stars before now. I haven't kept those books because I, as I've said, give away all the thrillers I read. When they used to be about £3.73 from Tesco, that was the only time you'd ever see me buy a thriller. And even then, I wasn't happy about paying more than £3 for it. So... I don't know, there's there's something here about the worth and the merit that I attribute to a certain type of book. And there's something here as well about the money 
aspect of things. And what are your opinions of it? Do you think that, well, do you yourself attribute a certain amount of worth to a certain type of book more than you do another? Or is all fiction fair game for you and you're quite happy to support the author if you enjoy them because you understand that this is a very difficult world in for writers to exist in when there are so many writers in the world all publishing stuff, all wanting your money off you to help fund their life and help them pay their rent and you feel like it is your duty as a reader to help them out. Because I'm not sure where I stand on this because I know that I believe that writers that are creating work and being published should receive some sort, something to help them continue in their way of living. Writing doesn't make that much money anyway, I know from experience, so um, maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's just Charlie feeling some of his guilt again and he's decided to waste all of your time to talk about it. Maybe that's this. Maybe that's what this video is. I suppose it's, it's definitely this guilt I've been feeling over the fact that I've enjoyed the majority of these thrillers that I've read, but I haven't given them any sort of... I haven't given them any the author any money for that. And I don't think now I can just go, go up to the author, especially not this one who lives in Norway, and just be like, here you go. Here's, what, six times eight. Whatever that is. Here's some money for you, love. Spend it well. Buy yourself a cup of coffee. I can't do that. <sighs> Anyway, I did think it'd be great if there was some sort of barcode system that we could implement so that some money went to the writer at the charity shop when, when someone purchases a book from the charity shop. There's absolutely no way that I can think of to do that. I mean, I know that technically they've already been paid for that book and it's simply me just... It, it'd just be the same as paying a friend. But he's you know, to borrow their book, but the person still lost out on sales. Please feel free to leave your thoughts and comments, and I hope you got something out of this video. But until next time, that is all.